In line with good governance and the even spread of the dividend of democracy to the grassroots, the executive chairman of Ikosi during local council development area, Wale Raji Anomo, kept the promises he made during the electionarian campaign to deliver some great achievements within the first 100 days in office. The chairman who gave this assurance during the celebration of his first 100 days in office disclosed that he is a strong and unrepentant advocate of a prosperous society where prosperity is not just going to be for a select few but for all and sundry. Speaking at the event which was held at the council secretariat in Agbawa Ikosi, the council boss disclosed that with the little resources at the council's disposal, they have been able to record significant achievement in various sectors of the economy. With the very little resources at our disposal, we have been able to record significant achievement in various sectors of our economy, which came about after a series of engagements with different stakeholders, and we are still working very hard. We are working our fingers to bone to ensure that we do more to make every individual in Ecosyndrome enjoy the dividend of democracy. While reeling out his achievements, he disclosed that sectors such as the health, education, infrastructure, agriculture, security, tourism, arts and culture have all been touched in the last 100 days. Today, we shall also commission two fully equipped ambulances. Those ambulances, which are of international standard, were, pro were procured by this administration to serve as mobile clinic, which will offer a first-hand medical service to our people, the good people of the city, and also to give prompt response to distress from when we have heavy. Anoma also launched the eco Journey Complete School Park. This complete school park, which will be given to each of the 5,000 pupils across the 17 public primary schools in the LCDA, contains a school bag, school uniform, sandals, socks, writing materials. Those in primary 5 and primary 6 have a dictionary and mathematical sets added to theirs. This is to prepare and project them for a solid secondary education foundation. To make life easier for the public school students in the LCDA, the council also procured two buses meant to convey the students to and fro their various schools every day. The council also constructed eight new boreholes and rehabilitated 12 old ones which were in bad shape just as it procured four 500 kVA transformers to serve Itoiki, Odo Temu, Odo Onosa Community and Model College Agboa. I thank God because some people think that it cannot perform. But with this one, people see that they are really doing something. Intellectually and administratively, he was well equipped, you know, for the job. So I'm not surprised that uh, he hit the ground running. He said it in his um, in his manifesto then before contesting that he's going to do. This and he has been doing this. I really want to appreciate him. Concentrating upon the indigents and the indigents, those who need governance more, is making them feel the impact. You know, school buses for children and stuff and stuff and stuff like he has done today is changing the narrative. So every community is well represented in what he's doing today. And not only that, look at the school bus he has bought for the children. Some of the children have broken their leg through uh, Okada as they. So he has done well. The event was also used to give out 20,000 naira to 100 small scale business owners to help sustain and boost their businesses. While 100 residents comprising widows and senior citizens of 70 years and above were incorporated into the council's elders and widows welfare scheme. Under the scheme, each of the 100 residents will get a food package and stipend of 5,000 naira on a monthly basis. My passion and drive for an ecosystem in LCDA where prosperity is not just going to be for selected few, but it's going to be for all and sundry. It's second to none. And 
I'm not just a grassroots politician, I'm also a technocratic politician. I live in the midst of my people. I know where the show pinches them. The community where there is no light, we are there together. The community where the roads are, but we are there together. And this is giving me a sense of reasoning. Oh,